Last weekend saw thoroughly unedifying scenes before and after a boxing match. Scenes we all condemned just as much as we enjoyed watching them. The fight was between uh, the Great Britain, one Derek Chisora, and the German-based Ukrainian Vitaly Klitschko. As early as the weigh-in, Chisora decided the normal eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball stuff was a bit passe, so he tried something a little bit different. <laughs> Well, that cost him some of his fight fee then can, can in the ring. Can I ask a question? Did he think he won't know who I am if I put this? <laughs> <laughs> good, good question. Well, perhaps he's been eating garlic or something. Like that. <laughs> so that cost him some of his fight fee then in the ring. Just before the fight, he chose an unorthodox way of greeting his opponent's brother, another heavyweight champion, Vladimir Klitschko. For Derek Chisora here. Schauen Sie das nochmal an. So macht man sich zum Sympathieträger. OK, so far so bad. Chisora, having brought shame on his sport and his country, then proved he was truly British after all by fighting heroically and then losing. But uh, <laughs> in the, uh, the post-match press conference, David Hay, a British former world heavyweight title holder, turned up. Unpleasant scenes ensued, to say the least. If David Hay is a fighter, he should fight me. I don't boof his name. Just three fights in a row. Yeah, let's fight. Let's Excuse fight. me. Let's fight. Tommy, 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 Tommy. I want to fight Enjoy David Hay. Where is he now? Okay, so they're having an argument across the room about getting a fight on or not getting it on. The slapper and spitter, Chisora, then gets up and uh, heads towards Mr. Hay. <laughs> And then this happens. <laughs> OK, you get the picture. Somebody did point out on Twitter, actually, that it's only like two footballers having a kickabout during a press conference, two boxers <laughs> boxing. Good point. On the other hand, Chisora was questioned by German police, but then released, and the British Boxing Board of Control may ban him for life now. What, what did you make of that? When I first heard about it, I thought someone said that Derek Akora had had a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this is a shortcut to the spirit world, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't lose the moral high ground against someone who's slapped. That's my sort of anger at David Hayes. You just think, how have you come out as the knobhead against yes. someone who's spat water in the face yeah. of someone who wasn't yeah. even fighting? You wouldn't call David Hayes a knobhead to his face, though, would you? I'm not saying it won't happen, Adrian. I'm just saying... <laughs> <laughs> he needs to watch out, you know. The well, grammar of it all was I, awful. I, I think the slap and the spit was worse yeah, than the brawl, personally. Yeah. Because, you know, boxers... You know, that's, yeah. they, that's what they like. They like fighting, mm. that's why they yeah. do it. I remember uh, Muhammad Ali and, and Frazier getting in a thing like this, yeah. being interviewed on telly, and suddenly Frazier gets up and Ali's going, sit down, Joe, sit down, and, and they ended up wrestling on the floor. But, you know, that's... Okay. Boxing has always been wild, and people who are not interested in boxing are always condemning it, but it's always been ragged at the edges, yeah. there's always been very <coughs> shady characters about, though, involved, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, German police uh, want a word with David Hay. They've not spoken to him because after the incident, he flew back to Britain without hanging around to speak to them. He then flew off on holiday with his family. He's not spoken about all this on TV until now. So please welcome, live from Las Vegas, David Hay. David, thanks for joining us. Is there a simple answer to this question? What on earth were you thinking of? <laughs> I was thinking of uh, not being another victim of his. Well, well, why go to the press conference at all? Why turn up and start trying to wind him up? It seemed to be that's what you were trying to do. It may appear that way, but I was actually a part of the uh, media. I had accreditation to be there, and I didn't actually uh, talk to Chisora directly. I was talking to Vitaly Klitschko and his manager, and... Um, one thing led to another. He, uh, Chisora, started uh, giving me abuse. So obviously I say to him, you've lost your last three fights. Then he gets upset about that. He then says, OK, I'm going to give you two slaps. He gets up, takes his jacket off, comes over to me. And before the whole incident happened, you know, you've got to understand what type of character Derek Chisora is. As you sh showed on there, he slapped someone, spat at someone. I've seen him bite someone in the ring before. You know, he's got a, a crazy police officer. He's attacked a police officer before. He's, uh, you know, beat up his girlfriend. He's, had, he's been convicted for carrying an offensive weapon. The guy is not a nice guy. He comes over to me in my face. I feel his knuckles in my face. What am I supposed to do? I've got to close the show. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
but why allow yourself to be dragged down to his level? Because in the end, you look no better than him if, with respect. There's two blokes brawling at a press conference. What you got to do is look at all the camera angles. I had no other option in that. I could have stood there with my hands by my side and got punched, kicked, spat at. You remember, he was there not by himself, he was there with a full entourage, who I actually had to fight on my own. I had to fight all of his people on my own. I had no other alternative. I've got a quote from Derek Chisora here. On, uh, on June, oh, sorry, <laughs> January 12th, uh, to seconds out interview, when I see him, I'm going to break his jaw. You know, that's one of his quotes. Another one, live on Sky Sports News, uh, someone said, would you give David Hay uh, a fight in the future? He said, whatever. I'm going to beat him up when I see him. And the interviewer said, in the ring. He said, in the ring or outside of the ring. So the guy has said on national television, he's going to beat me up and break my jaw. Why, why wouldn't I defend myself? Mm. He said he was going to shoot you, didn't he, on the night? Yeah, he did. He said he was going to shoot me. He said he was going to burn me. And someone who's been convicted of attacking a police officer, carrying an offensive weapon, he's got, you know, so many... You should check his, 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 his uh, police records as long as my, you know, yeah. and uh, what? I had to uh, find out exactly what he was going to do. Yeah. OK. You swear, you crossed your heart and hoped to die. You weren't I trying didn't... to wind him up to bring him off the stage towards you. I had no, I, I've got no desire to fight Derek Chisora inside the ring or outside the ring. As I said, he's lost his last three fights. He lost at British level, he lost at European level, and he just lost at world level. Why would, I, why would I fight someone like that? I wanted to fight the guy who won on that night, Vitaly Klitschko. I, I'm retired, I'm a retired boxer. But I said I would come out of retirement only to fight Vitaly or his brother. Do you not think that the and way no that Klitschko brothers have reacted, though, made them... They look so cool when they just let him spit water in their face and step away. Is there not an element of which you wish you'd done that? There's nothing cool about getting slapped in the face and there's nothing cool about another man spitting in your face and you standing there slurping up with a silly grin on your face. <laughs> nothing clever about that. <laughs> I've got to say, I've got a lot of respect for him because I'm hearing his reasons is something else, but I need to ask you, babe, how's your toe? It's all right, thanks, darling. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think one of the problems, David, is that the, the, the fist that you hit him with had, had actually got a beer bottle in it at the time, and that was what it made it look particularly violent and horrible. And that was his complaint. He kept saying that you'd okay. glassed him. I can understand how that looks, but I was there as part of the media. I was actually, it wasn't a beer either. I was actually drinking, it was a bottle of uh, lemonade, I think it was. Was it glass? Anyway, so I'm, dr I'm drinking it. It was, a gla it was a glass bottle, yeah. It was a glass bottle. But I didn't hit him with that bottle. I hit him with my fist. If I would have had my mobile phone in my hand at the time, it would have been a mobile phone. If I'd have had a hot dog in my hand, he would have had <laughs> to like ketchup all over himself because I'd have hit him with that. It would have been great if he'd have been running around saying, I've been hot dog. <laughs> 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 so there's nothing you would have done differently, <laughs> looking back? <laughs> um, ideally, if I, if I could rewind time, of course I wouldn't go down there. But, you know, you can't rewind time. You, you could have put the bottle in your other hand. <laughs> <laughs> if he's here tonight, and believe me, we've tried to get him, what, uh, but he's not here, what would you say to him? I'd say to probably check yourself into some sort of um, anger management <laughs> clinic. <because laughs> it's not a joke, I'm not playing it as a joke. I'm not, honestly, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. All you got to do, all you got to do, is, all you got to do is look at his police record. Look at how he treats, you know, women. And it's. I'm not trying to be funny. It's not a joke. He yeah. genuinely has problems with his anger. Are you going to box again in the ring? I'm talking about now. <laughs> um, I'd only fight Vitaly Klitschko. You know, that's the only fight. I'm retired. I've achieved everything in my career that I aimed to. I achieved a lot more than I actually anticipated before I got into boxing. And uh, the, only, the only fight out there that I'd want to have is against Vitaly Klitschko, you know, the guy that beat Derek Chisori the other night. Um, if that doesn't happen, then, you know, I'm, I'm happy. But, but you're now facing the prospect, the risk, that Vitaly Klitschko could agree to a fight, but you wouldn't get a licence to actually fight because the British Boxing Board of Control wouldn't give you that licence. Yeah, it's a, it's a potential, but you don't, you know... Uh, Vitaly Klitschko hasn't got a, a licence from the British Border Control. So, um, if, the, if the British Boxing Border Control were to, for instance, take away my licence and ban me forever, it doesn't mean I can't box in another country. My, my only other question would be the boxing aside. The dressing room you're in, are you about to go and do a musical, though? <laughs> I, am. <laughs> I am. I am, I am. I know that. <laughs> OK, Cowboy, thanks very much indeed for joining us. David Hay, ladies and gentlemen.